All right, today we got some new uh, Fergelli actuators. These are the new uh, L16-Rs. They're uh, considerably larger. The, the main body is the same exact size as the L12s, which this is an L12 and these are L16s. You can see the, the black part on the end where the motor is is considerably larger. They have uh, faster gear ratios for the L16s that are considerably more powerful than the L12s. This is a 210 to 1 L12 at 100 millimeters travel that will lift 10 pounds approximately. This is a 100 millimeter travel 100 L16-R actuator that's in a 63 to 1 gear ratio and this is a 50 millimeter L16 in a 63 to 1 gear ratio. And we'll give you a, a good speed comparison speed and size comparison. This is an L12 these two are L16s this this is 210 to 1. Move them up there so you can see them better. This is 210 to 1. This is 63 to 1. This is 151. This is 140 millimeter travel also. This one is huge compared to the rest. But here we go. Here's the speed test. Let's start that out a little better. Get those all the way around out. All right, here we go. Speed test. This one is twice as powerful as this one. This one is four times as powerful as this one. And it's a little bit faster with a longer travel, so it actually almost fin finishes at almost the same time. Well, that's my speed test for today for these actuators. I will do a couple other videos. I'm going to try to build up a little uh, a little uh, lifting rig so I can test how much they'll lift. That will hopefully be uh, the next video soon. Uh, I've been real hard on time lately, so we'll see how that turns out. I'm using a DX7S to control it with a Castle Creations 20 amp BEC and a Spectrum AR8000 airplane receiver. And got it all set up so you can use the sticks to control them. Most of these actuators are all the same gear ratio or you can run them on a three position switch. If you go from the one po go from all the way down position to the middle position it'll run out halfway to where its middle point is and then you click it up to the second position and it will continue all the way till the end of its travel if you're just using a two position switch you go from all the way in to all the way out with the flip of the switch you can set throttle st or you can set uh, can't think of the word I'm looking for. You can set travel limits with the controllers. Well, I'm not sure if you can program these like you can program some servos. I don't believe you can. I believe these are just set up to run like an analog ser or like a yeah, an analog servo, not a digital servo. They're amazingly powerful for their size and they got enough power that they actually torque around a little bit when you reverse directions um, that's my video for today if you got any questions about these actuators you can either leave a comment in the, the comment box below or you can email for Gelly Technologies I don't know what their email address is but it's easy to find on the forgelly.com website so please uh, like and subscribe and we'll see you later.